once again, with, we're with Professor Gris Barbara to talk about something which has been hitting the headlines for a number of months now. I'm talking about the Great Barrington Declaration. This is a conglomerate, an association of eminent experts, including various universities, prestigious such as Oxford University, um, universities in, Amer in America, Canada, France, etc., who are actually advocating herd immunity. And let us say that this has confused or challenged the main dictum of public health. What better person to clarify the issue than with Professor Chris Barbara? Chris, what do you say? It's my opinion, yes. I am completely against this declaration because this is putting patients' lives at risk and complications can happen. Uh, this, uh, this declaration is saying, listen, get herd immunity by getting people infected, okay? And people, once they get infected, can have complications at any age yes. group, you can see. And I am here always to protect people's health and protect people's lives. So if I had to agree to this, I am condemning some people to morbidity and mortality. So herd immunity, we know, hasn't worked with COVID-19. It has worked, but at a, at a high at, at a, a high price. At a price to pay, I see. So I'd rather get herd immunity through vaccination to save than lives. getting people infected. Right. We know that vaccination produces more immunity than yes. the natural infection. Right. The other yes. thing to say is that the Great Barrington Declaration, in all fairness, speaks about graded steps, which exactly. is, after all, exactly. what public health is all about. So thank you very much, Chris, once again. We've clarified the issue with the Great Barrington Declaration. And as always, if you're in crisis or you need to get the information, get it from the right source. This is not about confrontation, but collaboration. The enemy is COVID-19. Let us all use our brains to work together to have a better quality of life. Thank you. Thank you, Chris.